Good morning everyone. So today I am doing one experiment to show that anaerobic respiration in yeast. And here I have taken three reused Maza bottles which I am going to reuse over here which have been already used at my home. So here I have taken three similar Maza bottles and now I will cut this Maza cover from it with the help of a scissor. So let's cut. You can also uh, do it without cutting it because I have done it here so that we can see the whole result that how this yeast do anaerobic respiration in a clear view. That's why I am cutting this cover. Let's tear it. Now we can see we have get a clear Maza bottle so that we can see the whole process of anaerobic respiration in yeast. So next I will cut these two remaining bottles also like this. So let's cut. So now I have cut the cover of both the three bottles. You can see. And now we'll keep it at a side. And first, now we will take here the yeast. Here I have yeast in this big bowl. But before working with the yeast, for safety purpose, here I am using the gloves. Here I am using it for the safety purpose. So now I have wear the gloves in both the hands and now I am ready to work with the yeast. So here I have taken yeast in a bowl, in a big bowl and here I will use one big spoon to just mix it. You can see I have taken this yeast from the bakery shop. So it's done. Now let us take our bottle, open this cap and let us insert one this whole spoon yeast into this bottle. Here you can see that I am inserting the yeast into this bottle. So I think that this much is enough. So now we'll take out this bottle from this bowl. I've kept this bowl so that the yeast should not spill on the table. So let's insert the same amount of yeast in other bottles also. So you can see that here I have taken the yeast into the three bottles and now I will keep them inside. And here I have taken one bowl sugar. You can see and now we will add the sugar 
to the bottles in the first bottle we will not add any sugar in the second one we will add only one teaspoon of sugar so let's add so you can see inside the bottle i have inserted one tablespoon of sugar in the second one and in the third one over here i will take three teaspoon of sugar so here you all can see i have inserted the sugar except one container so now we will take here the warm water in a glass and we will add one glass of water in each container so let's add make sure it is a warm water so you can see in each and every container i have deposit one glass of water and here this big bowl i will take some water also let's take one more glass yes so it's done now and we'll keep it on the side and here we will just mix it a little bit like this we can simply tap each and every container so that the yeast sugar and the water should mix with each other and now we will take this one bottle and here i will use some big balloons so now i will cover this lid with the help of balloons so let's cover so now as you all can see i have inserted the balloon on the top of this bottle and on the top of other two bottles also you can see and now we will take this bowl of warm water and we will keep this bottle into this warm water like this and we will take another uh, bowls also like this and we will keep this bottle and the other bottles in the other containers and then we will keep it for hours and we will see that how it occurs and what is the anaerobic respiration in yeast so let us keep others also you all can see this three bottles and you can also keep this two bottles without the bowl of the warm water it is perfect without them also and then you have to keep them still for at least 1 to 2 hour and then we will see the reaction you can see here that some yeast are pushing themselves towards up and soon we will be able to see the reactions also of these three balloons and then we'll get to know that how the sugar reacts with the yeast and how the yeast does its anaerobic respiration so let's wait for 1 to 2 hours you can see the close view of movement of yeast you can see over here that the yeast have like this they are pushing themselves up in these two bottles also you can see hmm 
the akri and after soon by we will also be able to see the results of the balloons so now you can see the little green one is blowing but let's wait and let's see what happens for one to two hours now from the top view after half hour only you can see the results here the first one is as it is and you can see the yeast forming here and the second one you can see the balloon has got up straight and the yeast have come to the upper layer like here and in the third one you can see that there is a thick layer of yeast over here and the balloon is also much bigger if you compare the green and the orange so green one is bigger and this the third that is yellow one it same as so now let's try it by removing it from the warm water and let's see that does it work same as like other three bottles so now over here the three bottles are on the table and without any disturbance here i have removed it because it may be that due to some reason it have been not blowing up but let's see after removing it also does it blow or it not blow but these two bottles you can see the yeast here fully they are forming like a sponge here it's the great amount and here you can see the balloons also growing up so now let's wait for the hours remaining and let's wait for one or more and let's see what happens and how much does the balloon grows up so over here i have kept it for 1 to 2 hours and you can see that the bottle in which i have kept 3 spoon sugar um, has blown the balloon more and the bottle which i have kept 1 tablespoon of sugar has blown the balloon some less and the third one in which nothing i add nothing sugar it doesn't blows anything and also you can see here the solution over here so this shows that how anaerobic respiration takes place in yeast and it also shows that when we mix yeast with sugar so it leads to the blowing of balloon in this activity so it's done so our activity is finished but let us open this balloon and let's see that what happens when we open this balloon from this container first i'm using the yellow balloon and i'm opening it the one container in which i have not kept any sugar make sure your face is so nothing we can see you can also see the inside how it is it's like normal below also you can see that all the yeast is here only not any yeast has up so let's try now with the second one the orange one in which container i have added one tablespoon so let's see it's very powerful if i press like this also so it seems to be very powerful let's try it picking up yes you can see that i can pick it up 
with just holding this balloon it means it's very tight it's very powerful i think that we should open it with a distance see that gas is leading out yes so in the second one gas has come out we can clearly see it and because i have loosened the upper tight of balloon and now it has also been done now let us come to the third one that is the green one in which i have added 3 tablespoon of sugar let us pick it up yes we can pick it up as higher as much but not that much so let's open it it is more powerful you can see that it's loose it it's gas and now we can see this difference between this if i get to a close up you can see the difference so in the first one you can see that in which i have added three tablespoon that it's full and it's looking like a foam you can see from inside and if we smell it it smells really strong hmm and if we take the container in which we have added 1 tablespoon sorry 1 tablespoon of salt so we can see it that it's looking but it's looking like a liquid it can move also if we smell this one also really it smells so bad and strong and if we move to the last container in which i have not add any sugar so it also smells strong so it means that the smell of three of the containers it's same it seems like strong but you can see the difference in the quantity of yeast also the one which i have added three tablespoon of sugar is like this and you can see that the form of the yeast has been making more in the second one in which i have added only 1 tablespoon of sugar is less in quantity and the third one is which i have not added any sugar is looking like a water only it is looking like a really a light yellow water color because of the color of yeast and it has not any yeast upper towards it so this was much our activity and this was the conclusion of our activity and in this activity i have shown that how does the yeast do anaerobic respiration with the help of sugar and in sugar glucose is present so this was the only conclusion thank you